Hey, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, BQ here of the Impact Lounge. Hello to all my loyal subscribers. Appreciate you listening to my content. If you're not a subscriber, would love to have you as one. So please consider hitting, 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 huh? Hitting that subscribe button. I'm home on lunch right now. It's my last full day taking my course here in Texas. I'll be heading back to Illinois tomorrow. Um, we'll be on the road the next couple days. And then I'm going to take a vacation day, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I don't know how much time I'll be able to develop, uh, dedicate to the channel over the next few days. I'm going to record something tonight to uh, upload for tomorrow. But I might take a little bit of uh, time off. We, we just, I just got to kind of play it by ear. So since I'm here on lunch, wanted to do some content for you guys. And the, in the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about um, some of the former... WWE talents that were released or asked to be released and what you guys would think about them being with the company with TNA with Impact I can't believe I call it TNA I never call it that anymore um, being with Impact Emma was one of them and uh, Jack Swagger was the other and I, I kind of laugh because I think some people comment without listening to the content sometimes because a lot of people said with Swagger oh they need to build their own guys and everything and I get that argument but um, you know, in the video I was talking about, they don't really have the guys to build at the moment. They're not in that place. They, they have talent, but they don't have main event talent. So I don't have a problem at this juncture with them, you know, importing someone from that has a name. Cause, cause let's face it. However you feel about WWE, good, bad, indifferent, more often than not, the free agents that come from there are probably the hotter free agents on the market that they have the biggest social media following, you know, it, that's just the way it is. Um, so Summer Rae's another one. Um, and before I get into her, you know, I've, it's, it's been documented. I said the number one reason I stopped watching WWE is because I was tired of seeing the same matches over and over. Like that was literally like wasting my time. The second is the fanboys. And with that being said, TNA has fanboys too. And I've say TNA this time, because I'm talking about the history of TNA. There's the fanboys also that turn off WWE fans from listening. So it goes both ways. But, you know, that was one thing that turned me off from watching as well. The third one, if you were to know who all my favorite wrestlers were in that company, it would make a lot of sense to you why I don't have that much interest in watching because all my favorites are either released, underutilized, um, or just not on TV, period. Might still be there not on TV. Or they went from a serious role to a comedy role or something like that. You know what I mean? But... Anyone who I consider like a favorite is not over there anymore, except like maybe Paige. And Summer Rae was one of the ones that I really liked over there. Not for her in-ring work. I have no desire to see her join the knockouts as a wrestler. Let me put that out there right now. I think the knockouts have their own set of problems at the moment. Good and, good and bad. There's good problems to have, bad problems to have. I think they have their own set of challenges right now. So I have no desire to see her in an in-ring capacity. But about a year and a half ago, I was very complimentary about the company and how they were using the knockouts because, uh, you know, there was only so many that you can put in feuds. And you had Rosemary, you had Raquel, you had Maria, and you had Ali, all who were not wrestling at one point. And they found ways to get them on TV in, in important roles. And they haven't been able to capture that magic in a very long time with the ladies. So Summer is someone that I think you know, could come in, play an authority role, or be in charge of the knockouts like Karen Jarrett was, or Brooke Hogan, or whoever you want to compare it to. Um, I, I do like authority figures. I don't like when there's like 10 of them, and you don't know who's in charge and what's going on. You know, like we've seen a lot over the last year. Even when, you know, at the end with Billy Corgan, when he was coming out with Aiden O'Shea, you didn't really know he was heel, babyface, what was going on. You had no clue. So, I, you know, if you look at Lucha Underground, when they have, you know, Dario Cuerdo, uh, the role Katrina plays, I think they do a really good job with that. And um, I, I think it's nice to have some kind of matchmaker or some kind of authority figure. I actually think she is someone who has the uh, creative ability to step into a role like that and do a good job. I think she's um, 
I th- she's a tr- I think she's an attractive lady. You know, some people think she looks like a mouse or whatever. Or don't you know? I-, I think she has a good look. I wouldn't be surprised if she never wrestles again. But I wouldn't be surprised if she, you know, came to a company like Impact, did a part time thing because I'm sure she has other opportunities available to her after Total Divas, all that stuff. So that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't be surprised if she never wrestles again. But I could see her um, really fitting into this uh, current current company to, to number one, just to bring a little bit of star power because it's necessary at this point. And number two, because I think she could do a good job in an authority role. You know, um, I don't know how many of you guys watched uh, like when they, they brought ECW back like a decade ago and uh Taryn Terrell was like the uh you know before she became Taryn Terrell she was whatever the hell her name was and she was kind of like an authority figure a little bit over there um and did a really good job with it I could see Summer doing that so I want to know in the comments what you guys think if this is uh if you think she could have a role in Impact or if you're just like no not at all no interest whatsoever again I am not advocating her joining the knockouts division as a wrestler in any way i know some of the comments are going to uh, allude to that I, i'm not advocating that in, in any way i'm advocating bringing someone with star talent in and having some kind of important on-screen role thanks for listening guys if it's your first time again please hit that subscribe button thank you peace